The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. I can handle a hot potato, but why throw it to me in the first place? Because we need it to be legitimate. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree. But they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus the Moshe would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. If we're going to treat Helios like a home, we need to acknowledge whose home it is. I won't name anyone. I support asking the Moshe to act as interim ambassador. Meridian's opening day, and we're surrendering how much influence? That's the point, you colonial ward. Scott is feeling better? Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Integration of Hyperion systems is ongoing. Our SAM node will be accessible on return visits to Meridian. That viability bump clears the way for a lot of new colonists. We're accelerating. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. This is the first I've heard of the term, Second Wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Darla Vas Hyperion, placements officer. As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vast Meridian? I keep Vast Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive, Hunter. He is an ass. Iora Pule, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the... interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Hunter Carey, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year, 
This'll be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Aye, what they said. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Kello. The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything. But Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. It means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callow. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Though, please don't tell him that. Things will change now. But that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. Let's get out there, huh? Why I'm alive. Uh, thanks. Oh, good. You're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? Look who's talking, Miss Basale. Just keeping you on your toes. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. What does this mean, Sam? The language is imprecise, or perhaps too precise, but the potential capacity of Meridian is clear. Unlimited. Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? Ugh, I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body, cooperating with the Angara. You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Heading groundside? Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. There's one thing. Depero. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that did it. You jerk. Go on. I have a reputation to protect. Nice job. Pathfinder. Thanks for the invite to the party. I didn't organize anything. Not this. Landing day. That was worth jumping galaxies. Heading groundside? Good to be out of cryo.
Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations! I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Knew you'd like it. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But, so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You wanna blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? Hard. And how about the Nomad? Just once around the planet. No. Ugh, guess I'll just have fun down here. No problem. Glad to have you. Pathfinder? Let's get out there, huh? New galaxy. I made it. Got a job for us? Even these Jardan were surprised at what they created. It is not uncommon for a creator to be surpassed by their creation. Couldn't anyone else have said that? Kid. Old man. Ha ha ha. This place is something else. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well damn, you were listening to me after all. Through all the creaking of your old bones. <laughs> I sent out what's left of the Macmore Scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. I know, right? It's going to be so much fun. Ha, <laughs> crazy kid. How's things? So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day, Pathfinder of the Century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up. Leaving home. Doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Ready when you find so glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. What should I be hearing? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating. This is the Ark Kiracia. The situation is not under control. Not an avoid until further update. Repeating. Is that... The Corian Ark? And Elcor? Drell Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business, putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kiracia wasn't destroyed. It's patchy, and there's no traceable vector, I assume? It bounced through the Scourge. I've doubled long-range probes, but... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. 
Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. Ready when you are. Zara, kept a seat for you in your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Iridium got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Scott woke up. <laughs> How's he doing? He's exactly where he should be. I'm sure he'd disagree. So, you're telling me you're having trouble explaining limits to a rider. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? I slip out whenever there's a gap in the paperwork, just to look at it. I feel you. Just... ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. The last thing they said before Cryo was the Pathfinder will see us through. They were wrong. <laughs> So, this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You... accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And... Exactly what it is, what it may become. <laughs> I can't even imagine to think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshrai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. New beginnings. That's what I came to Helios for. And what I dreamed of. Yes. <laughs> New beginnings. So, let's get to it. The last thing they said before the fire was the Rider. Want to slip away? Found a great storage room. Sturdy crates, secluded, no interruptions. 
The storage room? You spoil me. It'll be like our first date, but better. Guess you'll be heading out soon? Still a lot to do. Meridian's just one step toward making Helios our home. Yeah, but a damn big one. You deserve to celebrate. And I deserve another drink. Cheers, Pathfinder. Storage room offer still stands. Just saying. Hey, Ryder. How's Scott? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder.
Ark Hyperion. Departed Milky Way 2185. Arrived Andromeda 2819. Current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy is getting work. Please select a topic. The transformation of Ark Hyperion into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies, pending further research. Port Meridian is currently powered by repurposed Tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomenon during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Aurora Meridiani. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Ark Hyperion will be maintained in perpetuity. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. These internal structures have been designated as Port Meridian. The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Ket Archon. Pathfinder Sarah Ryder spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Ark Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing Day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. Status, pending. Ark Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, We turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. <clears throat> Making a quiet exit? It's no fun having the boss at the party. Have you asked? I wager that most would disagree. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. We've done what was needed, and this will always be here for us. But there's a galaxy out there, and you're all pioneers. That's why you're here. We're not done. That's... 100% viability on all known UNC's Pathfinder. Please access the Tempest VidCon for an important update. Tempest VidCon? All right. You have AVP Outstanding Pathfinder. 
You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. He's back on his feet. He's hobbling around. Nowhere near ready for the field. Think how much we'll get done with two riders. I can't wait to see Ephra's face when he learns there's another one. There's a new task because we hit 100% viability? It is a significant milestone, Pathfinder. Preparations have been made for some time. I need to know if there's another expectation because of this. Updating objectives. You have a high priority destination. At Habitat 7? What's going on? I have been instructed to not reveal mission parameters. Don't be late, Pathfinder. Well, Ryder does lead us to interesting places. Think there's anywhere more interesting than Meridian? If there is, we'll find out. We're in stable orbit. So, back at Habitat 7. What am I supposed to see, and what's it got to do with 100% viability? I'm getting initiative signals, magnetosphere charges, and atmosphere probes. The vault here remains non-functional, but with 100% viability to invest, we've begun terraforming this world with initiative technology. The good old-fashioned hard way. It'll eventually be a home too, thanks to you. My father would like that. There is one more item, Pathfinder. Opening channels to the Nexus. Meridian, Podromos, Deteon, Tevuni, New Tachanka, and Initiative Allies. By unanimous vote, this world is to be renamed. Habitat 7 is now listed astronomically as Rider 1. Your world, Pathfinder. Their future. Thank you. 
Where to next? I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm surprised I still have a job. I should probably just retire. <laughs> Don't be silly. We still need you. There's so many outposts that need support. Then let's head out there. Sounds like a brilliant plan. What can I do for you? I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Meridian was mind-blowing, right? You were amazing. No safety net, no Sam. Didn't bat an eyelash. Eyelashes were the only thing I wasn't batting. Batted the Archon right out of the park. Now, Helios will really take shape, and we have VIP tickets. In some ways, I feel like our adventure is just beginning. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. So. So. <laughs> so. The best time to be alive? Yeah, I've decided it is. Or the best time to be awake, as the case may be. No, awake and alive. Because if you weren't here, you'd be dead. Best time to be alive. Yeah, though I don't know how we top this feeling. For now, maybe we don't have to. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Meridian, at last. There's still so much to do. For the Nexus... But not today. Today, we get to feel good about winning. Any more Commando War stories? That's all I can share, anyway. I miss them. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Pathfinder, thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Designed to isolate, lingers well after the war. I know what that is. It's a minefield. They're vile, because it's not just about watching your step. They make normal life impossible. You get it. The long-term point is to hobble the way the whole population lives. Mark this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge, they're some motherfuckers. Ready for more tests? Not again. Lexi, I'm fine. Sit now, and I'll skip the blood work. Have you experienced any muscle spasms? 
Nosebleeds. Memory loss? No, but I feel a headache coming on. Ha ha. Comments like that used to get a rise out of you. I know you too well now. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> you should know. Professor Hirik approached me about a transfer to the Nexus. Apparently my research on Ket anatomy has been useful to the militia. Guess I'll be telling my next doctor about my abandonment issues. I declined. Really? Didn't have a choice. No other doctor in the initiative would take you. I'm lucky to have you here. Yes, you are. But I'm pretty lucky too. Face down, ass up. So long, bone brain. How about to Meridian? To dreams and family. To whatever sex may be beyond our imagination. It's my toast, and it's to the vanquished. Hear, hear that. Still thinking about the Turian Ark, Mason and Avidus. I hope Avidus is doing all right. Time heals all wounds, as they say. Heals the wound, doesn't erase it. You don't lose someone like that without scarring. So why weren't you on the Turian Ark? Our dad left Palavin with us long before the Ark even existed. I don't know if we really count as members of Turian society anymore. But who needs all those rules anyway, right? You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Hail the Archon Killer. I heard it was touch and go, but you really rose to the occasion. Better to be lucky than good, right? Forget that. Leave nothing to luck. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. That was a good win. I wonder what other kind of trouble we can get up to. Always looking for the next fight, aren't you, old man? Gotta admit, old habits die hard. I might have had a long time to settle in. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a piejack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Ket. Fiends, uh, kid. Even I'm not gonna mess with those at close range. Keep your distance. Shoot them in the red, fleshy bits, or I guess in the face if you can't flank them. We can talk more later. Sure. Hello, Sarah. Through Meridian, I gained insight into the Jardan. Creators of the Remnant and the Angara. Meridian's code accounts for incredible potential and infinite diversity. They weren't achieved. No creator would be content. You think the Jardin might come back? Unknown. They abandoned a great work, which you have reinterpreted. Against significant odds, you are home. Thanks. But what's a Pathfinder without their Sam? Two halves of a whole. In a brief time, you have suffered, triumphed, and grown. You are a new iteration of yourself, respected and recognized. I have lived it with you. I see why the unknown beckons, what it means to prevail against it. This is how one's humanity is grown. I am glad to know. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.
I talk to my family every day. They can't believe half of what I tell them. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? You're here. I'll give you my entire chocolate ration for an interview about Meridian. Done. I'm down to the ones with strawberry goop in the middle. So, Meridian's real. A promised land. You did it. The Hyperion's a mess, but that crash site does mean humans have a claim to Meridian. Technically, yes, but practically, our allies will always be welcome. It's good to have that on the record. I'm headed out there soon. Documenting Meridian could be a lifetime's work, even for an Asari. I can't wait to get started. Meridian. Now that's history in the making. But the oxygen output would be... Pathfinder, have you seen this place? So green. Dr. Camden's been a real help. Vaughn. He seems to have settled in. Hey, Vaughn. Glad to see you in your element instead of locked in a box. <sighs> You're gonna tell everyone about that, aren't you? With the supplies here, I can start really fixing things. All those disease-resistant seeds, I... Wait. You have what? Where? Excuse us, Pathfinder. Everything's reading normal. There's snug as... Oh, hey, Ryder. Harry, what's going on here? You're telling her? Oh, can I watch, please? Of course. Got something to show you. I love surprises. Wait, are those... Krogan children. My children. Live in the egg, every last one of them. Nobody else knows, Ryder. We're keeping this quiet after what happened with that human baby born out here. I don't know what's in store for me, but however this turns out, I'll be part of our future. And so will you. You still have a lot left to give. Guess I do. Hope. It's a scary thing. I'll teach them, Ryder, about what we used to be and what we are now. Just like he taught me. All systems green.